James Peterson. I'm an American educated chiropractor and I've been working in Ecuador for 25 years. For three years, uh, every day in the morning and the evening, uh, I did the home of fires and I found them quite effective and I have many anecdotes I could tell you about how my personal health improved and the way I'd seen other people's health improve. What had been interesting was that one day my wife came to me and said, we have a patient here that we're treating for sister sarcosis. Well, immediately my medical model said, uh, that's crazy, this man needs uh, serious chemotherapy and as soon as possible because the little parasites grow incredibly rapidly. And here was a young man who later told me that he had done all the chemotherapy that was available to him. They had uh, taken out loans and uh, were looking at a very impoverished situation uh, where he hadn't been able to work for six months. Uh, they were practically without food uh, and didn't know exactly what to do. So they began to do the fires. Uh, through the courtesy of a lot of people, we gave them a pyramid and they began to do the fires day and night and take the ashes in the prescribed form. Here is the resonance, the magnetic resonance, which very clearly demonstrates uh, a number of uh, sister sarcosis cysts. There are two in this photograph, there are five in this photograph, there's one in this one, um, there are two here. Uh, he, he was just full of it and the boy was very, very skinny and, and uh, really on, on the verge of uh, passing away within a few weeks. He began doing the fires uh, and here we have a second residence taken three and a half months later. This is in the year 2002. The second plate was taken at 621. Um, we can see the uh, calcification of where the cysts were, where the live uh, parasites were at one time, and you can see that they're all gone, they're all dead here, they're all disappeared. Okay. Doctor, would you pinpoint the uh, calcifications and the... Uh, I don't know how close you can get on the camera, but in this one particular, this is a, uh, particularly graphic. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five cysts uh, here uh, around the, the ventricles in the brain. If we go over to the corresponding photograph here on this plate, uh, you, you can't see those areas any longer. You can see vaguely a little bit of white here uh, where these where these cysts were. Okay, this is three and a half months with homotherapy. But this, may take in mind that this gentleman was doing the fires himself in the morning and in the evening and consuming the ash. Okay? You have to do, have to do the whole thing complete. Okay? So, uh, you can see it here. Uh, there are those two cysts here. And uh, you can see in the corresponding one here, uh, the calcified area that corresponds to the, the once living parasite in the brain. This one has one here, particularly deep strong, another here, and you can look at here, there's a little white spot there, yeah. Now we will. Okay, here we have in the resonance um, a cut of the brain which shows one, two, three, four, five sister sarcosis, and um, here are the ventricles. And you have to imagine that when we saw this NG, uh, he there is, he could hardly walk. He was extraordinarily thin. He was having convulsions. <coughs> so here we have the cyst. And this man was completely emaciated. For six months he'd been laying in bed. And they had to almost carry him in. Then, as we go over here to the corresponding cut that was taken three and a half months later, we do not find the black uh, spots that indicate the sister sarcosis, but we do, in the same places, find white spots which indicate the calcification of the cysts that were existent three and a half months before. So, curiously enough, uh, this man started out uh, with us uh, having convulsions and having to be carried in 
and within uh, two weeks uh, his convulsions stopped and he was able to uh, come by himself. He burned the fires well enough to uh, do them morning and evening and consume the ashes. Doctor, can you tell us for how long was it taken the regular far pharmacological treatment? Vicente told me that he had done three different treatments, uh, one which he could not define very well, and the two others seemed to be classic uh, chemotherapy uh, treatments for sister psychosis. For how long was it? Oh, I'd say that he was probably two years before we met him, he started in this process. Mm -hmm. And six months before we met him, he was very, very bad. The last chemotherapy had not helped him any. He was in, in bed. Uh, practically all the time. He couldn't work. He couldn't produce for his family. Uh, he was in a very, very miserable condition uh, when he came to us. So like I say, the community of people who were doing the fires uh, bought him a pyramid and he spent uh, uh, every day coming uh, for a couple of weeks to learn how to do the fires and then he went home and started doing them there himself. Which is really beautiful because <laughs> every time he would come to, uh, to the fires once a week uh, to, to be with us, uh, you, you can see him improving. You can see more color in his face. You can see a smile coming back to him. Uh, his wife was just terribly, terribly worried because she could see him wasting away in front of her eyes. She felt that she was going to be a wheel very soon with young children. Uh, bang, you know, there he was once again coming back to life. It was, it was a very beautiful uh, thing to experience.